old rumors are once again resurfacing, and this time they involve Jane Foster's Mighty Thor, and how exactly she might be coming to the MCU, because previous reports that line up with many other things that have come true state that she was from the multiverse. So in case you guys missed what is happening, um, essentially a couple of years ago, before Disney even announced all those Disney Plus shows like She-Hulk or even the Falcon and the Winter Soldier as officially in development, there was a giant leak that had a bunch of info in it that claimed that it was an insider and here's some of the plans for the future and this is what you're going to see. And many of those ended up actually coming out true now that we look at it. Those posts were since deleted because they were called garbage on Reddit and wherever, but people that made videos and reported on their websites one by one all are going back and looking through them. So things like, oh, Loki's going to introduce Kang, and Loki's going to take us into the multiverse, and Scarlet Witch will star alongside Benedict Cumberbatch, and also we're going to see a black Captain America. We're also going to see a new Black Widow. There's also going to be, it was just countless, and like 90% of that has ended up being true. Even to the point that they said there's going to be a tournament in Shang-Chi and Abomination is in it. Everybody laughed at that one. <laughs> well, so now let's take it to another report that was in there, and it was talking about Thor Love and Thunder at the time, and the report stated that Jane Foster as Mighty Thor would not be the Jane Foster from the 616. Instead, that whatever happens with the multiverse would bring in a Jane Foster from another part of the multiverse, and then she would be looking for a way back, but also working with our Thor to sort of help him find his footing in New World. And then by the end of it, we would learn that she can't get back to her multiverse because it's been destroyed by whoever's pulling the strings. I guess now we can all guess it's Kang, and she's got to remain in the main MCU continuity. Now, I mean, look, we got the villain who's going to be going through the multiverse and doing his thing because Kangs are everywhere now. Um, they outright said, no, she's not going to be from the multiverse, but they've openly literally lied to us multiple times, most recently with Kang. But I honestly do not believe this one. I think you have to bring back the Jane Foster we know. I honestly think you have to. Because if you just have her still out there on Earth, then you bring in a new Jane Foster from a parallel universe, now you have two Janes? Like, what? Is the story then going to be Chris Hemsworth doesn't want to be Thor anymore or take care of the universe? So he just goes and lives with Jane in New Asgard while the mighty Thor Jane is just out there doing Thor stuff? That seems rather lazy and I don't think they will do something that lazy. I'm just going to go ahead and guess that whatever that report was is probably true at the earliest level of development. But they decided to not do that, just like the whole cancer thing. Because remember they said that might not be a part of the film. And then there was so much outrage and now is. I'm going to guess the multiverse conversation went that same way.